Welcome to another edition, Spark Chat, YouTube.com. Hope all is well. Like to do a little bit over unders um, for baseball. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at this season. Uh, just want to go over a few teams here. Just kind of fun to see. I know baseball started, you know, two weeks in here, but, um, you know, Chicago Cubs over under 88 and a half. You know, I think one of three teams is going to win the NL Central, and they're going to do it with a win total somewhere in the low 90s. The issue, though, is, is I can't decide which team it will be. I like things about all three, Milwaukee less than others. The Cubs should bounce back to a disappointing, you know, after a disappointing and to an often disappointing season. I think they'll bounce back. So I lean over 88 and a half. Chicago White Sox over under 74 and a half. I'm disappointed that the White Sox couldn't get any traction with the big free agents because I like the upside with the White Sox. They have been bad for a long time. Uh, but they have done a good job of rebuilding the right way. I don't think they will contend or anything, but I like the over 74 and a half. Cincinnati over under 79 and a half. I'm watching, you know, Reds play in Chicago. You know, I watch some of those games there. So, you know, you, you wish... I, I like the players on the Reds. Cozart, you know, you, you wish that you like them to for them to be decent. Uh, it would make for a better game. Uh, you know, it, 79 and a half feels like a generous number. Maybe like five or six wins generous in my eyes. So I'd probably take the under 79 and a half. Cleveland over under 90 and a half. There are 13 guys who are on the roster at the end of last year who aren't there now. Stunning turnover. But they have talent still, and the Central is a mess, so they get a boost from that. In any other division, I would lead under, but here I lead an over 90 and a half. Colorado, over under 84 and a half. You know, last year this team was a pleasant surprise. There are a few things tougher following uh, up a season like that, but I really like that they stepped up for Nolan Arenado. And have reasonable faith in the young pictures. I'm going over 84 and a half. LA Angels over under 83 and a half. If you have a guy as special as Mike Trout on your team, and you are underwhelming as the Angels are, you are really doing something wrong. In fact, you have to work really hard to be this bland with a guy like that. What a mess! Under 83 and a half. LA Dodgers over under 93 and a half. Long doubted this team mentally, and I can't shake the feeling like this is going to be a rough year. Clayton Kershaw right now is uncertain. They lost out on landing their big free agent target and lost the swagger that could come with that. And they are not running out of egos in a clubhouse like the under 93 and a half. Miami Marlins over under 63 and a half. I never even remotely could think or, uh, you know. A lot of people don't like uh, Derek Jeter. Not even slightest clue. Uh, you know, or slightest case for liking Derek Jeter. And now he's a CEO and owner. And has made some people think that they understand. Uh, he, that, you know, that some maybe think that they undersold him as a, as a player. At the very least, he was way, way better at that than he is at this, you might argue. He should feel Deep embarrassment every time he looks in the mirror, you might argue, as an owner. Under 63 and a half. Milwaukee, over under 86 and a half. I was waiting for Milwaukee to implode last year, and they never did. They surprised me. So when I say that I really don't believe in this team and feel that a little too much was driven by overachievement last year, you should probably ignore me. I lean under, but the over is solidly favored. Um... Philadelphia over under 89 and a half. They have spent like crazy this offseason and they got their man in the end, but this number feels a bit optimistic. I'm not convinced that they are the best team in the division like this price suggests. So I lean under 89 and a half. 
San Francisco over under 73 and a half. The league is better when the Giants are good. That's bad news for the league then because I struggle to see how this team wins 70 games this year. Under 73 and a half. Seattle Mariners over under 71 and a half. Now, if I wasn't, you know, <laughs> you know, Mariners, it's a full on rebuild for a team that felt close to relevance but never really managed to get there. You always, you know, if you're a baseball fan, you always hope better for the Mariners, but I like the approach. I'm always a little bit optimistic about this team. I grew up, you know, you hear about, you know, their AAA team and, you know, what type of talent it had out there at one point. 74 wins feels like a target. I go over 71 and a half. St. Louis Cardinals, I like over under 88 and a half. And, and I like the season a lot. But... And I like the team. I think they they could be my pick to win the tough NL Central, but the Cubs might be too, right? Either way, I lean solidly to, towards the over, eighty-eight and a half, and I, and I really like that type of that type of bet. Really, pretty confident uh, over eighty-eight and a half. Toronto over under seventy-four and a half. You know, pitching is a question. Though they have added some veteran depth, and it might it might not be a disaster. And they're going to be young. If Vlad Guerrero Jr. comes up early and comes close to meeting this hype, they could go over a bit. You know, over this number. Over under seventy four and a half. I'm gonna go under. Just some of my over-unders for the year. It'll be interesting to see how I do. I will get back to them in like August, September, see how my numbers are doing. And I will take it from there. Hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon.